New trucks are arriving every day in Moyo, Uganda, each one bringing more refugees from South Sudan, women carrying children and not much else. They're part of the 1.5 million people fleeing South Sudan's civil war, seeking safety in neighboring countries. Uganda now hosts some 740,000 refugees, most of whom have come since last year, says Lutheran World Federation's Jesse Comstra. And in this year alone, in the first six weeks, we've seen over 100,000 people have, that have arrived in Uganda. So all resources for all agencies are stretched to the absolute uh, max. Though Uganda is recognized for progressive refugee and asylum policies, officials say their transit and reception centers can only hold so many refugees. Many new arrivals resort to sleeping wherever there is space. Rachel Makisa fled from Ye County in southwestern South Sudan. She doubts she'll be able to return. Right now I don't have a hope for our, our country because there is fighting taking place in our place and right now I don't know what exactly, so I don't have a hope for, uh, for my life. It's a reality many of these refugees face and a reality likely to continue, says Comstra. I don't know how many more, how many more thousands have to come and flee uh, or die before the international community wakes up and realizes what's happening here on the ground. A stark warning from on the ground of Africa's largest refugee crisis.